guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna and today I'm back with another Lush review and this time around I have the hairdresser's husband spray perfume now this perfume is only available in the 100 ml size nowadays this is an older 30 ml uh, bottle version uh, that I managed to pick up second hand now this uh, review was requested by one of you I'm so sorry I've completely forgotten your name this was requested you know quite a while ago about a month ago I think so uh, hopefully you're still here and still watching my channel um, and apologies for the later review um, but this person didn't want to sort of fork out the money for a hundred ml bottle of perfume without sort of having a review on it and I completely agree with you so here I am ready to review hairdresser's husband for you and yeah let's just get straight into it so I'm just gonna list some of the scent ingredients here so it's got sweet orange oil lemon oil grapefruit oil lemon myrtle oil vanilla absolute and tonka absolute so the scent ingredients do pretty much tell most of the story here hairdresser's husband is a very citrus based scent and it does have that sort of vanilla smooth undertone to it Mm. So this fragrance stays pretty much consistent throughout the wear time. Obviously, those more sharper citrus notes, sort of like the lemon and that sort of thing, do sort of go pretty quickly. But of course, sweet wild orange oil um, and lemon myrtle and those sorts of things definitely stick around. And grapefruit is also notorious for sort of wearing off quite quickly. Now, the fact that it has lemon myrtle in it definitely adds an interesting edge Lemon myrtle is a very common sort of plant in Australia. It's a tree. Um, it's a native tree. Uh, the Aborigines used to use it for a variety of things. They still do uh, culturally as well. Um, and it's got sort of like a eucalyptus-y, menthol-y kind of thing going on with it. Um, not to the extent that, say, a tea tree plant would, but this is definitely more toned down. But there's, there's definitely still some of that there. And that's what makes this a really interesting scent rather than just being the citrus with the vanilla um i would say this is quite a true unisex scent um especially in the way it wears down i think the lemon myrtle definitely contributes to that i think without the lemon myrtle i would lean more on a female side for this scent which is kind of crazy considering it's more like a citrus scent which usually favors a male but that lemon myrtle just balances it and i feel like a man or woman could easily wear this no problem so it is one of those scents where you sort of have to like the unisex vibe um, to really enjoy this is what I would say now in terms of wear time I got about seven hours out of it which is fairly reasonable it's almost a full work day if you work an eight hour day um, I think it's very good considering the types of notes in this fragrance I think considering there's no sort of woodsy notes or earthy notes that are really sort of binding it together and keeping um, those top and middle notes down. There's no sort of real base notes here per se. Um, I think it's a very good product um, to get that much longevity out of it for the scent that it is, if that makes sense. So my thoughts overall, I think the price is fair for what you get. I think that it is definitely a lot more long lasting than many other citrus perfumes on the market. I mean, things like Versace and all that sort of thing, their citrus based fragrances definitely don't last seven hours, especially in my experience. Um, so I think it's a good buy. I think if you're looking for a fragrance that's going to last for eternity in terms of wear time, you're going to be disappointed. I think if you've got a very long day job or you, want to use this for like a long time on a day you would probably have to carry this around and respray it once uh, but besides that I think it's a really really good fragrance and the way it develops is really nice it doesn't sort of develop to the point where it's completely away from the original fragrance it just sort of mellows down and obviously that vanilla sort of just becomes a bit more pronounced but like I said with the lemon myrtle it definitely makes it more unisex um, whereas vanilla is sort of seen sometimes as being more feminine whereas citrus is seen as more masculine but this sort of ties it together really nicely and like I said I think without that lemon myrtle I don't think this fragrance would be what it is if you get what I mean I think it would be more boring and a bit more sort of female leaning in my opinion um so yeah I like it for that purpose 
Um, for me personally, it's definitely not my favourite fragrance I've tried from Lush. I think it's worth a four and a half out of five. I think this is a fragrance I'll definitely reach for when I'm looking for something a little bit different. Um, it's just not something that I would wear every day. And to give it a five out of five, it's got to be something that I'd probably wear every day. Uh, but I think for a lot of people, this could be a great option, especially if you're looking for something that's a little bit lighter, especially a work friendly fragrance. Um, it's definitely not too heavy and the sillage or this sort of um, the cloud of perfume around you, so to speak, isn't too heavy with this either. So I think I think it's a good one for that as well. So, yeah, there we go. So thank you very much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it. I'm going to be doing a lot of perfume reviews in the short term. So um, if that sounds like something you're interested in, then please keep keep around, stick around. What? What am I saying? Stick around. That's a good word. Stick around, keep watching, all that sort of thing. And until next time, take care and I hope to see you again. Bye for now.